Thieves Den. Am I using Red Death this game? Probably. So it's mostly Red Death. Spark will ignite we're talking about that build. And your enemies will burn. All right, so talking a little bit about Thieves Den. If you guys are watching me play uh, right now, I've kind of talked about uh, Thieves Den a little bit. So we got the ship. Um, well, the spark is over here. Also, the front of the ship is over there. Go this way. That's the back of the ship. And um, that back pathway on the other side. So what I typically like to do is, again, I'm not a spark runner. I will grab it if I need to. But uh, I'm just trying to control this ship. So you guys see, I went to the back pathway. I'm going to get on the back of the ship because if you go this way, the front of the ship, you're going to get a lot of fire. It's not a great position. And if they get top of the ship, they're just going to shoot down on you. So it's just it's an awful spot. So you guys have seen me do this time and time again. I actually like crouching now. If you crouch up here a little bit, then uh, if they are coming through the door, then they can't really get a good shot on you. But uh, I'll nade this area if they push up too far. You guys will see me do that. Uh, but basically head on a swivel. So I'm looking here. And I'm also looking on this side over here. Let's go ahead and play it out. You're in the lead. So you got one kill. That guy isn't looking at me. Down the steps, got the kill, helps back. Your runner has the spark. My, Your my teammate is alive the... here. I personally, I personally would not have done what he did. I I might have jumped up here with me, or circled back around that way. I would not have pushed this way. I just by myself. Nah, I wouldn't have done that. So, your runner has the spark. He got it. He's facing a necrochasm, which is probably why he ended up your getting away with that. So I ended up being the distraction. I want you guys to see what 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 I did here. Um, I wanted to get in front of this guy. If he was going to run this way, I wanted to be the the front of that. So I'm just going to swap spots. And he actually ran towards me, which I preferred. I don't remember if we score on this or not. But uh, he's a shot. Take him out. Create that space. He hit the wall in the blink. Oh, God, I should have died. We got an instant replay because he dominated himself right there. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Why are you going to do that to yourself? <laughs> His blink. His blink hit the rock. He blinked and hit the rock right there. I didn't even notice that. Boop. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, we got our uh, run shut down right there. He did have another guy helping him out. So I took out two. He must have got taken down by the other four guys that could have been in their spawn right there. So we're going to reset back on the ship. I don't have nades. I tried to throw them right there. Switch a sniper. I'm going to run. I didn't want to give up this position. I would rather give it to them and come back around and try to reset on them than just outright give it to them. All right. Let's look at this one more time, guys. This is something, I, again, I want to emphasize a lot. I want, to, I want you guys to pay attention to my shield. Pay attention to what I do when I know I'm not going to win this fight. Spark ready. Take it. So I can immediately tell, okay, I have no, no damage on him. He has me. He's beating me in this situation. What all too often what people end up doing is they run out here and they'll challenge again. They'll just run out there and challenge again. Like, oh, my shot's better. Like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Push forward. Got my health back. Now let's let's try it again. This guy isn't up here. All right, so now I'm gonna need the charge. Your runner is advancing. Got the burn. Got the kill. We got the score. Your team has ignited the enemy rift. 
All right, I'm already running back after that. Charging the spark. And we're back in position. Now, I think some of my teammates started to sit up here as well. I can't remember if they did this the entire game or not. But it certainly helps if you have two people up here. The then you don't have... Well, you can get more shots on uh, that back that back path. Alright. I decided I was going to super around the time that this guy grabbed. But he died. So I burned my super on the push. Got my shield back. Oh god, Scorch Melee, so good. So good. Thanks, Shax. Appreciate that. Alright. Didn't grab the heavy. Alright, so we should get a score on this, right guys? I would think so. We got the heavy. We got the score. Alright. So again, we get a spark push around the heavy. Grab the heavy. Spark is available. There's the double. Those two out are on seven second respawns. This guy gets a push. I make sure I get around on the other side so I can get a shot on this guy. Kill him so uh, my teammate can score that. And again, I could sit back and spawn camp. It's not what I'm doing, guys. I'm getting right back to that position on the ship. Because it's all about map control. Alright, golden gun active. Guys, you see it came up for me. Lost my position up there. Now, this is a longer match, so I'm wondering if uh, uh, that was the turning point. That golden gun up there. Now they have map control. Because this map goes on. Map goes on for a little bit. Lost to uh, Xerxes. That was a heavy machine gun right there. Didn't realize that guy had that. That was a nice stick. Oh, this guy supered me. Shane. He wasted his super. I would have saved that super for the push, but he wanted p that position. I can't fault him for that. I was He was about to die anyway. So. Look at that score. They caught up real quick. OP for one. Enemy has the spark. Stop them. Looks like I have that slow moving glitch. Oh yeah, this turns into a good game. We were on the verge of giving them mercy. The mercy rule. Get the kill there ready. on that dude. So I got map control now. See how long that lasts. I think they're going to continue uh, trying to uh, push with me there. Heavy ammo inbound. Come on, Expo. Why you got to do things like that? Runner approaching the rift. Eh, triple teamed. Available. Now the good thing that came out of that, let's 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 review this. So this is kind of like what I love about objective game modes. 
CTF in general. Heavy ammo. So we ran this side two times and scored the rift. Right? We pushed. I pushed specifically leading the charge on this way. So I think the other team was kind of like, okay, these dudes keep pushing from this side. And so they're all focused right here. And then our guy sneaks behind him. But really focused on me. You guys can see him in the background back there. And he gets the score. Now the other thing that I mentioned before, that this, this is kind of like two things happened at once. So you guys can see the heavies are up. So we have the rift, or uh, the spark, and we're about to score on the rift. I'm going to die. I'm going to lose heavy control, and I think we're going to lose heavy control on both sides. So this is kind of like that yin and yang of heavy coming up when I was talking about taking the, the spark in, which I think we grabbed before it came up, or going for heavies. Heavy ammo available. Enemy rift ignited. What's up, Gotham? Good morning. Charging the spot. Well, we had some Sunsinger barbecue right there. Mud Kip. It's a riot. The spark is available. I got the nade kill out right there. Enemy oh, they have three guys on Spark. You got a kill on one. That guy went back and around. He's probably going to push this side. Yep. All right, he goes down. Couldn't quite get the kill on Mudkip right there, but we did get the Spark stop, so which means we can get a reset. Oh, I missed the snipe shots? Oh. We got some tears. Spark ready. Take it. Those are the tears that don't count whenever it's a recorded Enemy gameplay. Stop them. All right. Is this guy going to do the same thing? It looks like he is. Ran around to try to regroup. I was a little too exposed right there. I probably should have been... A little bit further down, like right there. Enemy runner so that guy the couldn't shoot at me. Got sniped by Shane right there. Ah, and they got the rib score. Too late. They got your rib. Man, what a comeback by this other team. Burn my super. I think I wanted to reset here. I had too many people when I spawn. Oh, I got the kill. Didn't die. We got almost killed him. We got several hits with that uh, snipe. If I would have had a stronger snipe there, Mudkip would have went down. But I had my prudence. Heavy ammo on the way. Oh, strafe game. All right, we're fighting for this heavy. Looks like I'm going to get it. This is a super tight game. I can't believe that dude just went out and grabbed like that. Oh, I got shoulder charged. Pushed up a little bit too far. Right there. That kill would have been the game. 
much to just you create us some space, and we ended up winning. Very tower. close game right there. Far. Back and forth. That was a good game. Destiny is really good. So shocked you're still on it a year after it dropped. If you like this video, you should probably click on the one down below. That'll take you to another video. You may like it. A little bit about me. I'm a former pro player. I play PC and console, mostly shooters. I also have a gaming podcast. I do tips and tactics, live gameplays. Check out my Twitch. Also, I work in the industry. Why are you not subscribed?